we do a lot of things with communication. We comfort people, we advise people, we explain things, we criticize people, we make requests, we make promises. But one of the most important things we do with language and communication is we try to change people's minds. We persuade people. But what is persuasion? And what are we doing when we're persuading people? I'm Bruce Lambert from HowCommunicationWorks.com, and I wanted to record what's hopefully a very short video on what is persuasion? What's the definition of persuasion? Um, I want to take my definition from the textbook written by uh, Daniel O'Keefe, who's a professor uh, here at Northwestern University, uh, has written uh, what I think is the best textbook about persuasion. I'll link to it in the description if you want to get it and read it yourself. He's also got a great persuasion course on Coursera uh, if you want to check that out. But the definition of persuasion, so we think intuitively persuasion is, you know, being able to change somebody's mind, being able to get them to do something that we want them to do. <clears throat> but Dan O'Keefe defines persuasion in the following way. He says it's a successful, intentional effort to change the mental state, change the mind of someone who's free to change their mind and something we do with communication. So let me go through each of those elements of the definition. So it's a successful attempt. It doesn't make any sense, any sense to say something like, I persuaded him, but he didn't change his mind. I persuaded him to buy the car, but he didn't buy the car. That doesn't make any sense. Persuasion implies success at the influence attempt. The second element is uh, it's intentional. Uh, you, you, it's, it's very unusual to say something like, I accidentally persuaded him to buy the car. Uh, I didn't mean to, but I persuaded him to vote for my candidate. Persuasion implies some effortful, intentional communicative, uh, communi communicative activity. Um, <clears throat> third, it involves communication. So uh, we can do a lot, we can get people to do things um, uh, through coercion and other means, and this gets to the next point about, about freedom. Um, so, so let me take on freedom first. So persuasion assumes that a person is free to choose. It doesn't make sense to say something like, um, I took out my gun and persuaded him to give me his wallet. Uh, that if we use the term persuasion in that sense, um, or I threatened to fire him and in that way persuaded him to stay late. Uh, so if we use coercion or if we use violence or if we use force, then it's not really persuasion anymore. It's coercion or violence or force. So persuasion seems to uh, imply uh, using communication under circumstances where someone is free to choose how to behave or, or what to think. <clears throat> and finally, you know, persuasion involves communication. There may be other ways to, to change people's minds, but persuasion is a communicative act. So a successful, intentional attempt to uh, change the mind of someone who's free to choose otherwise using communication. That is persuasion. So what's the mental state we're trying to change? Uh, the mental state we're trying to change is generally an attitude. An attitude, I'll do another video briefly about what an attitude is, but just uh, for now, an attitude is an evaluation of some object. That object could be a person, place, or thing, a policy, a candidate, uh, a consumer good, but some evaluation of that object is what an attitude is. And the evaluation could be along almost any dimension, like or dislike, uh, cheap or expensive, honest or dishonest, uh, admirable or contemptible. We can evaluate objects in a million different ways. But when we're persuading people, we're normally trying to change their mind and the part of their mental state we're trying to change is their attitude towards some action, towards some object, towards some candidate, towards some consumer product in order to get them to behave in a particular way. So that's it. In less than five minutes, the definition of persuasion, a successful intentional act to persuade someone who's free to choose using communication to get them to change their uh, mental state. And the mental state we're changing is their attitude, their evaluation of some object. Thanks a lot for listening. If you like this kind of video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, go to howcommunicationworks.com and sign up for our mailing list. Share this video with your friends. Thanks a lot for listening um, and we'll see you next time.